Today we're going to find the area of a parallelogram and uh, let's look at a parallelogram. Alright, a parallel parallelogram um, has two um, opposite sides that are parallel to each other, okay? These two sides are parallel and also these two sides are parallel, okay? These two sides are parallel and these two sides are parallel, okay? Um, and in order to find the, the area of a parallelogram, um, you need two things. You need two things. You need to know the base and the height. Now the base is the is the bottom of your parallelogram, okay? It's going to be one of your parallel lines, okay? And then you have another one that's that's on top, okay? So you can either use this as your base or this as your base. Doesn't matter, but either way, if you use this as your base, you want to find the height of your parallelogram. So what you want to do, you want to go to the top of your parallelogram to that top parallel line and drop a line straight down. And this is going to be your height right here. Okay? Now in order to find the area we need to use a formula. So we have another formula. And this formula is, is very simple. You find the area by multiplying the base and the height. That's pretty simple. Just take the base, take the height, multiply them and you have the area parallelogram, okay? Alright, so let's work some. Okay. So, in this problem, we need to find our base. We know that our base is going to be 6 and our height is going to be 3. Remember the base is one of your parallel lines okay and then the height is that other parallel line when you drop a line straight down from the top okay so we know our base is 6 and our height is 3 so we're going to say um, A equals B times H and we always write our write our formula down. We always do that, okay? So we're going to say A equals, instead of writing B, we can write 6. Instead of writing H, we can write 3. Alright? So, um, the only thing we need to do now is just multiply our base and our height. So A, which is area, equals 6 times 3, which is 18 inches squared. So this is the area of our parallelogram, of this parallelogram. Alright, let's work another one. So we want to write our formula A equals B times H. We want to say A equals our B. This is our B, which is 8. And our C, I mean our H is right here. And our H is going to be 2. So now the only thing we need to do now is multiply. 8 times 2. Well, 8 times 2 is 16 centimeters squared. Alright. Let's do another one. So can you locate your base and your height? 
your base is right here and your height is over here so I'm going to write my formula a equals B times H well a equals 10 times 7 well 10 times 7 is 70 inches squared all right let's try one more Right. Let's locate our base first. Now we need to look for the for the, well. Let's locate our height. Where's our height? The height is from one parallel line to the other parallel line, and that's going to be this number. So this is our height. And so since this is one of our parallel lines and this is the other one, then we know this is going to be our base. So we have A equals B H. So I'm going to say A equals 12, which is my base, times the height, which is 4. Okay. So now the only thing I need to do is multiply 12 times 4. A equals 12 times 4 is 48 inches squared. Alright, let me give you one to work. Um, If you'll please find the area of this parallelogra parallelogram and pause your video while you're doing that. Thank you. Alright, let's I hope you wrote your formula down first. A equals B H. Well, what is our base? Our base is going to be twelve and our height is going to be five. So I'm going to write A equals twelve times five. Well, A equals 12 times 5 is 60 inches squared. Alright. Okay, I know this was, was a short video, but I, I think this was pretty straightforward. Um, if you'd like to see more videos, please visit me at mathwithmoon.org and leave your comments and suggestions for future videos. And I'll see you next time.